Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Josh Discoding. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at structures inside of Unreal Engine. So let's hop straight into it. If we come to our content browser, you can right click, you can come to Blueprint, and you can come create a structure. So we'll call this struct underscore stats. And I'll explain this in just a sec. So if we open up our structure, you will see something like this. You'll start with a single variable that is a Boolean. So a structure is essentially, in the most basic way of describing this, a variable which contains a bunch of variables. I, that's just the most basic way to describe it. So for example, we just created a stats structure. So what I can do is I can put in health and we can make this a float. And then we can put in say, um, stamina and we can create, you know, damage, hunger and thirst. Now, of course, this is just an example. You can, of course, make a structure of anything you would like, but this is just an example of how you might use one. So, what we can do is, if you click on this little drop-down, you can see a tooltip. So, just like when you create a regular tooltip, you can put in a tooltip here. You can save if this is editable or save game, which, for the most part, um, you're going to leave false. This is just if you should serialize this on save game. If you come over to default values, you can now set the default values for each variable in the struct. So I'll just say health is 100, stamina is 100, damage, let's say, I don't know, 10, hunger 100, thirst 100. So this is just like creating a regular variable like you would in a blueprint. You create it. You can add your tooltip, you can set your type, and then you can set a default value. Now, why would you do this over just adding it to a blueprint? Well, there's a few reasons. First off, if we just create a new blueprint here as an example, I'll call this BP struct example. That's not how you spell example, but we move on. So instead of needing to add all of these variables to the player now, what we can just do is add a stats variable and we can search for our struct stats and now in under default value of stats we can set all of the stats that we've created in this struct in one nice variable here on the blueprint so if you drag in your stats variable you'll see what you can do is you can either right click and split the struct or you can drag out and break the struct, and that's how you can get access to these variables. So you can drag out and break just like that, or you can right click it and split struct and get the variables just like this. And now just like any other variables, I mean, we can just do a print string to show you what works. You can drag in your stats and it will give you the value from here. You can also, you know, set the stats similar. You can just come here, split the struct, and set whatever value you're setting. So if you take damage, you can set your health to be, you know, 10 lower. Um, an example of this would be if we get our health, we will subtract it by our damage and we will pass it in here. Of course, in a real game, you would be taking damage from an actor other than yourself. But as an example here, we will then print string and we'll pass in the health. So on begin play, we're gonna print our starting health, which will be 100. Then we'll print our health after taking damage, which should be 90 if everything is working. So we just drag it in. If we simulate it, you see we get 100 and then we get 90. 
So that is a basic use case of a structure. Now, one more thing you can do with the structure, which is quite a big thing, which is probably the main reason you will use structures, is that you can create a data table using your new structure. So if you right click and come to miscellaneous, we can find data table. And when you pick row structure, we can now select our struct stats. You call this DT underscore stats. And you can see when we add a row with this add button, we now create a row of our struct. So we can call this, you know, um, enemy one. And enemy one will have all these stats. Then you can create a new one and we'll call this, you know, enemy two. And then you can here say, well, enemy two has 50 health, but it has 200 stamina and does 20 damage, right? Um, and then you can get these row names in your blueprints. And it, this is a very good way to keep your project organized. Um, if you work on a team, designers will love you if you use data tables. But this is just more showing you that a structure can be used for a data table. I'll cover data tables in its own separate video since it is quite an important thing to know. But yeah, guys, this is the basics of how to use a structure. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like. Also, be sure to subscribe so you keep up to date with these Blueprint 101 videos. Also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions on things you would like me to cover next. With that said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And good luck with your games.